If you're looking for a really good budget DAC for desktop, if you're mainly using IEMs or efficient headphones, the FIU New K3 might be the one for you. I paid about $120 for this and I've been using it alongside my orchestral lights and my experience has been really outstanding. The older K3 was using an AKM chip. If you ever buy one of these, make sure to double check whether you got the new version because I actually got the old version. In order to verify that, just look at the back of the box and on top of the barcode, it should say K3 ESS uh, 9038Q2M. Yes, the new K3 is using an ESS 9038Q2M and compared to the older one, you get a reduction in distortion and, imp and an improvement on the SNR. So you guys can see this device is pretty small, actually nowhere near as big as my topping the X1. The build quality is pretty solid, it's made out of aluminum, comes with rubber feet that you stick to the bottom so it doesn't slide all over the place. You also get a lot of features on this DAC. You get a 2.5 millimeter balance and a 3.5 millimeter output, a gain switch and a base uh, boost switch, pretty good output for its size. You also get a LED indicator and a volume knob. I really like the volume knob. It's pretty smooth. And when you want to turn it off, you can just dial it all the way to the left and you'll hear a satisfying click sound. One thing though is if you shut off your PC, this device will stay on. So I just turn it off and not in use. On the back of the Fio New K3, you got a line out, USB-C, USB 1 and USB 2.0 switch, coaxial output, and an optical line out. It comes with a USB C to USB A cable in the box. So, how does the FIO New K3 sound? The New K3 sounds really good. The sound is extremely clean, pretty neutral. I would say it's somewhat analytical or reference type. The bass on this is really clean and controlled with just a little bit of warmth. Comparing this to the Topping DX1, the DX1 is a touch warmer, I would say. For the bass boost, you know, it's all right. It's not something I can see myself using all the time. It basically just adds like 4 to 6 dB. And I only use it if I'm listening to some like Playboy Cardi or pretty much any tracks that sounds good with the bass being boosted. In my own personal opinion, it's a nice feature to have. The mids are precise and clean. It's basically reference-like. The overall tonality is pretty neutral. You know, the staging is great, and I feel like the positioning is also great. The treble is controlled, and it's really smooth. The clarity and detail is excellent. Overall, the sound is extremely clean and transparent. Whether I'm gaming or listening to music, my experience with this device is outstanding. I think this is something that will satisfy someone who's looking for an entry-level DAC. If you're using an IEMs mainly and efficient headphones, this device is something you should consider purchasing. This is just a lot better than something like the Fosse Audio K5 or the Topping DX1 that I just reviewed recently. And one of my complaints about the DX1 is the ground loop noise. The Fio New K3 doesn't have that issue. The background is dead silent and completely black and it has a pretty good uh, noise uh, floor. I'm rocking this with my orchestra lights which are pretty sensitive and I never really had that issue so you know what I'm saying even on high gain. Overall the FIU New K3 is something that can that I can easily recommend. Everything about this device is really good. Extremely clean and transparent sound, plenty of features and connectivity for what you're getting for $120. In my own personal opinion, this is a really good deal. And yeah, that's pretty much in today's video. Thank you for watching.